welcome, 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 welcome to Daddy Bits, our trade ideas show hosted by yours truly, the Trading Daddies. My name is the Ugly One and my amazing co-host. What's going on? Teflon John here. Teflon John is in the house. Dude, is the market crashing? Stay tuned. Stay to tuned. Find out. Yeah, if you want to find out if the market is crashing, make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button. Hit that post notification bell. Give us a nice preemptive thumbs up if you guys like this content. It definitely helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And we'll catch you guys after this banging intro. All right. Hey, new music, by the way. We got copyright on the other one. This one should be better. Oh, you changed it? Still banging. Still banging. This one has a smoother, very chill vibes. Very chill vibes. Some A very chill vibe that you definitely need, especially if the market's about to crash. Very scary times, guys. It feels like Spooktober all over again. Spooktober? You mean September? Spooktember? Spooktember? <laughs> You mean March, end of February? Oh, God. Oh, oh. Actually, it was mid February, mid February oh. until end of March. End of March. I want to, I want to, um, officially induct Melinda Gates to the Diamond Hander Hall of Fame for, uh, she's about to cash out. Everything cash half out off. Little, yeah, she's about to cash out with old Billy Boy. Billy Boy, everything half off. And Billy Boy is about to take a fifty percent haircut. You so, really think he he cares? Like he doesn't I'm care. Sure, I'm sure Melinda and Mackenzie, they're they're just hanging out by the pool, sipping a margarita. Hey, you know it would be a trip if they have the same divorce lawyer. Oh, <laughs> scandal! That lawyer getting fat paycheck. That lawyer getting fat paychecks, dude. The memes are hilarious. People are sliding in her DMs. <laughs> I saw one that says, "What's up, baby girl?" <laughs> Man, you, you know the wives, because you know how uh, M- M- Mackenzie and Jeff Bezos had a divorce last year, right? And yeah, she remarried quick. He did. Did he really? I don't like. I don't yeah, know. she she married uh, some some science teacher. Oh no, she married quick. I don't know if, if good old shiny head Jeff is. Oh no, man! Have you seen the videos? He's hanging out with like supermodels and like. Yeah, if you're a billionaire, dude, isn't that isn't that your 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 shtick? I don't yeah. know. I don't know. I don't know if anybody's gonna you know swing towards Billy Boy's uh Billy Boy's way now. <laughs> I, I don't know who in their right mind. Hey, but you know what? There's you know what, you know what, Bill. It doesn't matter how old you are. You all you got that cash. I'm gonna say this right now. If Big Ed from 90 Day Fiance could get could get a girl, you have you have it. You have it, Billy. You could you have better odds, Billy. Stay strong, Billy. You got this. You got this. Uh, t- the market's kind of looking scary a little bit. Uh, let's take a quick look at the QQQ. Um, I'm not happy about this at all. Yeah, did um. It's coming, bro. We we it's, spoke yeah. about it. Uh, we did. We did. We did Thursday? call it. Thursday. We did or... definitely call it. No, yeah, um, yesterday we called it. Yeah. yesterday. yeah. We definitely did call this. Remember how this is a a double top right here around mm-hmm. these levels, the two forty two level, to a T too, right there to a T. Yeah. Right. Um. If this breaks support tomorrow, uh, yeah, I do see. Could this be a triple top? Could be. It could be. As long as it doesn't break below this range, I think it could be, or this level right here. Actually, let me adjust this drawing because this is where it's kind of finding that level of support right there. Well, today's candle for NASDAQ, which is plain old nasty. You know why? It's because yeah. NVIDIA dragged. Yeah. Salesforce dragged. Apple Amazon, dragged. Amazon was down 2%. Okay, Shopify. Rightfully so, though. Rightfully so. After like record earnings, they they need to take a pause. 
Yeah, but majority of these key players, like for example, Nvidia leads, you know, the semiconductors, right? Mm -hmm. um, Netflix leads, you know, the, the streaming war. Um, Microsoft didn't do so well either today, too. Mm -hmm. Amazon is leading, you know, the e-commerce sector. They were down big today, so oh, that's were. why we we saw Q Q's um, down half of a percent. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there's mm -hmm. more mm -hmm. after hours. There's so. more. There's more after hours. Yeah. Let's take a look at uh, Nasdaq futures. Nasdaq futures. Yep. There you go. Point twenty five. Yes. That's this is that's, what I need. Yeah. It's there's two things, right? Two things that we want to. We want to point out here is how we're playing this again, not financial advice. These are just, you know, the way that John and I trade, uh, the way that John and I look at plays, what our entries are, what our exits are. If you are following our trades, please make sure that you manage your risk accordingly. Don't blame us if you lose any cash. If you do win, shoot us that Venmo right quick. You know, we take, we take, we take everything. We're going to start taking donations or buy some merch. You know, thank you for, for looking at that. But, hey, Shout out to the folks who, who cop some merch, man. I know. Shout yeah. out to them, dude. Thank you, guys. That it takes a while for me to come up with ideas of designs, and and I'm I'm glad that you guys are liking that. Um, I think you should call out uh, the next divorce is uh, Elon Musk. <laughs> oh, with Grimes. Mm, yeah, that's interesting. That's interesting. Right? right, and he has a robot baby. <laughs> <laughs> There, I, I can see uh, Elon Musk leading like, you know, a million monkeys like 50 years from now. <laughs> like actual ape strong. Ape strong. Ape, you know, they got chips in their scrum. head. Ape scrum. Like, I, I think also, dude, like one of uh, one of their uh, one of their I guess one of their executives quit from Neuralink. Yeah. Interesting stuff. But anyways, um, how we would play this is if you are long on your positions, I hope you have enough cash to dollar cost average down to get a better entry price, essentially. If you are shorting the market, um, short the market. It looks good. It looks good for some shorts right now. Uh, make sure that you guys are following your levels. Uh, John, where would, you, where, would you, where would you cover around these levels? So for this one, since it's not a strong dip, mm -hmm. um, there's definitely going to be support. Obviously, there's no support on the uh, the twenty because mm. you know that that completely broke um, thirteen seven sixty six. Obviously, it, we're below that. We're past that. Your next support would be at thirteen five hundred. Thirteen thousand five hundred. Okay. Ooh, okay. Um, so that's about what two hundred points. You're talking about like one and a half percent. Right, one and a half yeah. percent down. It's it's not much, but I mean, That's anything is possible. That Any, that can anything. happen tomorrow. Anything is definitely possible. Anything is. I'm still my, my conviction for May is still sell in May and go hold away. Your oh, sell in May and hold your longs. <laughs> <laughs> sell in May and hold your long longs. There you go. <laughs> Oh my God! All right, the next uh, next uh, chart we want to look at is the spy. Like always, let's take a quick look at the spy. What did the spy do today? Um, yeah, it was down too. Uh, I feel, but it's it's above support on the nine. So if you are trading the spy, also it, it's up twenty point two two percent. That's surprising. I didn't uh, see that. I didn't pay attention. Yeah, to that. It, it it somewhat um, sold off towards the end of the day. So it did definitely did. Uh, let's take a look at spy features. Spy features looking a little down today. Um, this MACD right here kind of opens up more pain. Uh, this is going to test that EMA nine. Uh, if it goes down, um, I mean, obviously you, you guys know the play short until the EMA 20. Yeah. And then cover right when, when you guys can uh, just don't get greedy. I always remember to pay yourself some, especially if you're not um, if you're not holding on to longer play, uh, longer conviction plays. Um, make sure that you guys cover and take the profits as you guys see fit. But because the market is in a quote unquote correction or a crash, um, let's take a quick look at um, the stocks that we want to take a take a stab at. The first one is Apple. John, what are you seeing on Apple? So for Apple today, um, you know the first what, an hour or so, 30 minutes, mm -hmm. um, was strong. Yep. Okay. Obviously, we, we saw um, 
a pump uh, mm -hmm. for the first, what, hour or so. It's and then way. after that, really, it just kind of yep, slowed right down, right? Um, we, we did, um, our plan is coming along. Um, well, for me, at least in my opinion, you know, we looked into a dead cat pound, uh, dead cat bounce, which happened today. Okay. That's number one. Okay. Number two was it was going to finish between the nine and the 20. Okay. So mm -hmm. we're, we're two for two. Okay. And then after hours, it's still drifting lower, but really tomorrow, right. um, uh, 131.60 needs to break. If it does, then that's it. You know, like our next position would be at 129. Um, I am holding. Um, I am holding some some puts on. Oh, Some technical that... difficulties. No, go ahead. You have you, you were only going for 15 seconds. Go ahead. Oh, gone again. Gone again. Gone again. What's going on over here? Ah. Is it plugged in? Oh my mic was like semi unplugged. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, guys. My bad. <laughs> No, so uh, we lost you in the last uh, fifteen seconds there. Go All right, ahead. so I, I was um, I'm holding uh, six contracts for uh, one thirty put uh, June uh, expiration, and so currently I'm down about two to three percent on this one. But uh, tomorrow, if it does break uh, one thirty one sixty, um, then we have a good chance to cash out really big around one twenty nine ish. Okay, um, oh so we we called it. Um, Yesterday, our plan was, hey, this is going to have a dead cat bounce. I'm going to short it on a green day. Uh, and it finished between the 20 and the 9, right in the middle, which this, is uh, inverted hammer, too. Yeah, which is what we need. So mm -hmm. our, our plan, we're three for three for Apple. So most likely uh, tomorrow, there's a good chance. There's gonna a good probability that, you know, it's going to be a, a red day uh, because, I mean, tech was already lagging. And then. The Dow, which is super strong today. Jesus Christ, yep. Home Depot and yeah. Costco. Uh, when will those come down? You know what I mean? I know. I'm right. still waiting. I'm still waiting. The next stock that we want to cover is NVIDIA. NVIDIA. Look at that. Nasty. Ah, good Lord. Yeah, so NVIDIA got rejected on the 9. Okay, the EMA 9. Mm -hmm. Right there. Which is key because we had a morning pump, you know, the first hour, you know, everything was all gravy. And then um, the sell in May effect uh, somewhat happened. And today it broke the 20. OK, the moving average uh, for the previous 20 days. So what does that mean? It needs to get back up there uh, above 596. OK, so about half of a percent, uh, 0.75 percent. Uh -huh. Um. It, who knows? It, it might go up and higher probability that, you know, it, it'll open below the 20 tomorrow. Um, yep. to, how I'm seeing this is it's going to open around, what, 593-ish and then pump it up to 596 and then it'll get rejected there. Yep, 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 yep. And then come Usually back down. Case. Yeah. I think this will give you, uh, for those people who are looking for a short, um, this might give you another opportunity to enter the short position, uh, especially if yeah. it pumps in the morning. Yep. Uh, just watch market strength. If it does dip a little bit, yeah. uh, I would definitely use the, the volume weighted average price to see if it's uh, to good for confirmation because I want to short this if there's still more room on the upside. Um, but that's that's pretty much it for NVIDIA. Any uh, last thoughts on NVIDIA? Uh, I mean, you got 572 for your your support, but I doubt it's going to hit that tomorrow. Got it. Yeah. That last stock that we want to cover is CVS. Shout out Tony. Shout out yeah. Tony for bringing this up. Tony's a savage, dude. 
Hey, we were just at CVS, yeah. Oh, I like CVS. It just, you know, smells like old people there. It does. It does. It smells like formalin. <laughs> <laughs> keep an eye on CVS because, first keep of all, yeah, it, it hit sure um, all time high. It hit all time mm -hmm. high um, after hours for 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 the one year chart. Okay. Yep, right there. So here's the thing. This 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 is gonna gap up tomorrow, obviously. Okay. Because it closed at the the very highest point of the day. It um, still went. Yeah, it, it went. It hit seventy nine seventy. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this has a chance to open. I don't know. Give it eighty or something. Eighty eighty one. And then it'll gap down. It'll, mm -hmm. it'll run back down. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah. So for those who are in CVS, make sure that you guys cover or close your positions out in the morning. Um, earnings is tomorrow, actually. Ooh. So earnings is so tomorrow. Is this like a pre-earnings run-up? It, yeah, it's a pre-earnings run-up on top of that. Earnings reports tomorrow morning. See, that's the thing with, that, with this chart specifically, which is very interesting, is because you don't really see that kind of, of spike. Yeah. You don't see that kind of spike unless somebody knows something. Yep. Right. Again, as as retail traders, we get the 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 crumbs and the pieces, and we won't get uh we won't get that kind of information until we probably you know we won't find out till tomorrow. But well, I think I just want to let you know someday we'll get the entire cake. You know, the entire cake. Yeah, you know, but nibbles of cake. But you know, if you have the entire cake right now, um, you're you're gonna get uh you're gonna get sick because it's a lot of sugar. Right, you get a lot of sugar. You ever heard that joke? Um, if if Bob has five pieces of candy and takes another five pieces of candy, what does Bob have now? Ten pieces? No, it's diabetes. That's a lot of candy. I think it was like a math equation, right? Uh, yeah, that's definitely a math problem. Uh, but yeah, that's... Yeah, definitely. Uh, but that's it for us today here on Daddy Bits. Uh, please make sure that you guys hit the subscribe button, post notification bell, give us a nice thumbs up if you guys like this content. Uh, follow us on all our social media. Follow me at Trading Poppy. Follow John at John C Trades. Trading Daddies for the both of us. Uh, TradingDaddies.com for all your news, your merch. If you haven't yet, 15% off your entire purchase if you use the code... Robin Hood sucks. Also, if you haven't checked out our good friend over at Bust Down Investments, if you want to learn how to become a better trader, if you want to brush up on some some knowledge, or if you just want to be part of a, of a community of traders that are excited to uh, take the market by the horns and and make these gains, right? Uh, and again, if you you can't make these gains if you don't if you're not well equipped, if you don't have the information, you don't have the tools, you're not going to be successful in the marketplace. Um, and please, you know. Hit up our boy Jay over at Bust Down Investments. If you haven't yet, watch that episode. I rewatched the episode. I couldn't stop laughing. It was so damn good. There were so many hidden gems in that episode. And it's not even just like a full segment. There was like a darts thrown in there that was just like super funny. No, the, um, the pregame was hilarious. Like we, we should have recorded the pregame. We should have just too. recorded the pregame. The pregame was funny. <laughs> but if you guys haven't yet, you guys are definitely missing out on that. Um, but that's it for us. Remember that to remember to to get trading and the charts do not lie.